Welcome into News Channel 10 Sports and happy Friday. After last Friday night, the Canadian Wildcats were the only football team in the Panhandle area in the high school football playoffs. Tonight, the Wildcats took on the Gunter Tigers in the semifinal round, a matchup that is familiar to both of these teams. This is the sixth time these two teams have met in the past seven years. Now let's take it down to Abilene Christian University, where it was the Fog Bowl between the Wildcats and the Tigers. End of the first quarter, Cameron Cavalier takes it in for six for Canadian. That ties it up at seven, but the Wildcats weren't done. Cavalier going deep. He throws it into the clouds, and Preston Miller comes down with it to set up first and goal. Cavalier would take it himself once more to the right and dives into the end zone. Things would go back and forth until the very end here. Let's jump to the end of the fourth. Canadian up 20 to 14. Gunter with the ball. Walker Overman finds Cannon Lindbergh to take it to the Wildcats 10 yard line. That sets up Ivy Hellman for the touchdown on the slant route. Hellman gets in for six and the extra point is good. Gunner goes up 21 to 20 with 17 seconds left. Tiger fans going crazy in the stands. Canadian has one last chance to score, but Ivy Hellman makes his second huge play in the final seconds with a big hit to seal the deal. Tigers rush the field. They're going to the state championship game. The Wildcats season comes to a heartbreaking end in a nail biter. Final score 21 to 20. Canadian falls two and four against Gunner all time. New Channel 10's KJ Doyle got the chance to attend tonight's game to see firsthand the excitement that unfolded. That's right, Riley. It really was a thriller here. Maybe the best game of the high school football season coming down to just one point, one extra point. It was the one that Canadian had blocked on their final touchdown of the game that made it 20-14, to 14, and that allowed Gunter to drive down the field, score the touchdown, hit the extra point with 17 seconds to go, and win this one. It's not the first time these teams have had a game come down to the final possession with seconds to go and a goal to go. It happened just a few years ago. And for Gunter, it's going to send them to AT&T Stadium and the state title game. Canadian will go home for now, but they're expecting to be back next season. It was an incredible year for Cameron Cavalier, and he is supposed to be back next season as a junior. Riley, back to you in the studio.